Good evening, this is The Late Report. Well, Soundgarden has announced that they'll be breaking up after 12 years to, quote, pursue other interests. For most members of the band, these other interests will consist of walking around college campuses telling the cute girls, hey, I used to be in Soundgarden. <laughs> Nike is suing Gary Payton's agent for allowing him to promote champion sportswear, saying they have exclusive rights to Payton from, quote, the head to the toe. Nike later revised the statement to read, except for his mouth and fists. <laughs> Elliott Bay Park has become the first park in Seattle to have a ground-level water fountain for dogs. Although it was made for dogs, park officials say that it will also come in handy for participants at next year's annual Hemp Fest. <laughs> the Gorge Amphitheater Spring Concerts feature musical group ZZ Top, Rush, and the Moody Blues. And by popular demand, the Gorge will once again offer discount tickets to all members of the American Association of Retired Persons. <laughs> Local Hilton hotels will soon be introducing virtual reality using video screens to make people in different cities feel like they're eating lunch together, a service that they call teledining. Some hotels along Aurora are already using the technology for a service that they call teleboinking. <laughs> Candy maker Brown and Haley will be teaming with Gala Wine to make champagne truffles. And in a related story, the people who make applets and cutlets will be teaming with Boone's Farm <laughs> to make something so crappy even dogs would eat. <laughs> a, a King County Superior Court judge has found Taco Bell guilty of not paying its employees for some overtime and off-the-clock work. The judge also ruled against Taco Bell's offer to pay all of the employees in Chili Ranchero Supremes. <laughs> the dragonfly has been named the official state insect in a bill passed by the legislature and signed by the governor. The decision was viewed by many in Olympia as a partisan move against State Senator Pam Roach. <laughs> well... <laughs> Sean Kemp has denied an NBC reporter's assertion that Kemp admitted to a drinking problem. And here with a comment is Nancy Guppy. Nancy? Thank you very much. So Kemp, Sean, Kemp, Sean, Kemp, Kemp. Yep, that's right. Sean Kemp went to the keg restaurant. Suddenly he has a drinking problem. Uh, since when did having a drink or two make you into a drinker? I didn't get that memo. I mean, maybe he enjoyed having a drink at the keg. Did anyone ever think about that? <laughs> Excuse me. Or maybe he likes to drink with some friends. Social drinking, that's a good thing. Or maybe he sat at his desk and had a drink before the show began tonight. Huh? I say, so what? Why is it such a big problem? And who are you to judge me anyway, okay? Maybe, maybe it's just a way to relax, feel more comfy for a free... For the uh, <laughs> is that comfortable? Nancy, you trying to say comfortable? Would that be it? Oh, hey, John, I didn't hey. see you there. How you doing? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Thanks, Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, a Monroe couple won a $7 million lotto jackpot last Saturday. The couple said that they'll use the money to buy, quote, a solid gold RV. This is the Don't go away, because we're coming right back.